Okay, so let's talk about these cubic functions that we uh, were working on in class today. Um, here's my parent function, f of x equals x cubed. Here's a transformation function. Uh, right now on this screen, I'm only worried about h and k, uh, the translations of the graph. So as you, as you can see, as h changes, that moves the graph left and right. Okay? Notice that this anchor point, when this is x minus, it will always be the same value as h there. So right now, that's x minus a negative 4. That's really x plus 4. So that means negative 4 is where that anchor point is going to be. If I move it over here, that's x minus 6. So 6 is where that anchor point is going to be on the x-axis. It's x-coordinate. Okay. Now let's, let's look at the k. That's going to, when you add subtract after the parentheses or outside the parentheses, that's going to move it up or down, as you can see is happening right now. So if k were 4, that's a plus 4 on the end of the equation. That means the graph is up, moved up 4. Its y value of this anchor point is 4. Okay. All right, let's move on to these stretches and shrinks. All right, this screen is going to help us with the vertical stretches and compressions. Okay. Um, let me move this h and k back to 0. Okay. All right, you can see what happens to A as, the, as A changes to see what happens to the graph. All right, so right now A is 3. There's a times 3 in front of the parentheses right there, okay? On the parent function here, the red graph, as you can see, this distance right here, when you go right 1, you just go up 1. So since there's a times 3, now instead of going, you're going to go right 1, but up 3. This A value is always going to tell you how far you go over one and then down or up that many. Okay? So, for example, if A is four, you're going to go over one, up four. Over one, down four. Okay? Um, if A were negative, it's just going to change the shape of the graph. It will go opposite direction instead. So, A is negative three, so you're going to go over one, up three. Over one, down three. And this has the opposite shape because it's negative. So instead of going left and down, you're going left and up and right and down because that is a negative number. Okay? And so you may be able to see that better if I move the graph over. So right there, the graph is shifted five to the right and one up. So there's my anchor point, five to the right and one up. Okay? A is negative three, which means it has the opposite shape. And I'm going to go over 1, down 3. Over 1, up 3. And then you find two other points, and you can connect them and find uh, the coordinates. Okay? So there's your vertical stretches and compressions. All right, let's look at the horizontal stretches and compressions. All right, that happens when you multiply by a number inside the parentheses. So like this setup right here. All right? Look what happens. This is 1 over b. Look what happens as b gets larger. So like this is 1 over 4 in front of there. So 1 fourth times the fourth inside the parentheses. It's going to horizontally stretch it by 4. In other words, it got stretched 4 times as wide. So in the original parent function here, it took 1 unit to go over 1. After you horizontally stretch it, it takes 4 units to go up 1 and hit that y value right there. All right. So the same thing here. So all that happened was my anchor point moved. Moved three right, three down. It moved to right here. All right. Since that's a one fourth, one over four, same thing. It takes four units to go up one. It takes four units to go down one. All right. If B were negative four, it's because it have the opposite shape. Still takes four units to go up or down one, it's just going the opposite direction. Four units this way, up one. Four units this way, down one. Okay? Um, if B were negative two, uh, no, let's make that positive two. All right? Anchor point again. Let's move it again. Let's go this way. And let's go up. Not that far. There we go. All right. 
So if I go three left and three up, my anchor point's right there. B is two, so that's a times a half inside the parentheses. So it's going to take two units to go up one and two units to go down one. Okay, and that's basically how you get three points to graph your cubics with. Let's try some examples. This one right here, first thing to do is find your anchor point. So minus one means one to the right, minus five means five down. So one right, five down, there's my anchor point. All right, now I'll look at this times three. It's a vertical stretch because the times three is not inside the parentheses, it's outside. So that means I'm gonna go one over, three up. One over, three down. And then to graph them, I'm going to use a different color here. I'll just try to connect the points with a nice little curve. It's kind of hard on the computer here, but should go through those points. All right, let's try another one. All right, anchor point here is negative 4, positive 1. I always do the opposite of the sign right here. So negative 4, positive 1. There's my anchor point. All right, now look at the vertical stretch or compression. It's a negative 2 inside of there, so it's going to opposite start up here and finish down here. So that means I go right 1, down 2, up 1, I'm sorry, left 1, up 2. And I'll have my graph again. All I do is try to connect these, see if I can do better this time. Try to connect it. Okay. All right, let's try another one. All right, so anchor point is negative, negative 6, negative 1, negative 6. And my vertical uh, compression is a half, and it's a negative. They're opposite shape. You can start up here, go through, and come down. So I'm going to go over 1, down a half. Over 1, up a half. And I will try to connect those three points there with my curve. Try to get my points. Okay. All right. Try another one. All right, now you see the multiplication is happening inside the parentheses that's being cubed. All right, so but still start off with your anchor point. Two, negative six. Two, negative six is right there. All right, now this is times a third inside the parentheses, so you really need to think times three. You need to, it's getting horizontally stretched by three. So in other words, it's going to take three units to go up one. So one, two, three, up one. You just flip the number over. 1 over 3, do 3 over 1. So same thing this way, 3 over, 1 down. Try to connect them best you can. And you got your graph. All right, let's try another one. 1 fourth x cubed minus 2. Now here you don't see any addition or subtraction inside the parentheses. So you can see that it was not moved or translated left to right at all. It stayed right here. But it didn't move down to. So 0, negative 2 is going to be my anchor point. So I can draw a bigger point this time. 0, negative 2. All right. Now times 1 fourth is inside the parentheses. So that's a horizontal stretch by 4. So what I'm going to do is go 4 right, 1 up. 4 left, 1 down. Okay. Whatever this number is, the bottom number tells you how far to go right or left. And then you go up or down that many of the numerator. Okay. Last example. Negative 4x plus 3 cubed. All right. So my anchor point is at negative 3 for the x. And you notice there's nothing added subtracted back here. So that means plus 0. So negative 3, 0 is my anchor point. There we go. All right, and then now I have a times negative 4 outside the parentheses. So negative means it's going to have this shape. And the 4 means that's how many I'm going to go up or down when I move over 1. So I'm going to move over 1, go down 4 on this side, move over 1, go up 4 on this side. Then I'll try to connect them. The curve is going to flatten out in there a little bit. Not the best thing, but it's hard to do on a computer. But that's how you do your cubic functions. If you have any, any questions, let me know.